Greetings, awakened masters of the new earth. The eyes of the spirit opening, the heart opening, we are invoking on this powerful day as we transition into the first day of March, the invocation of the violet flame of Saint Germain being activated in every heart center. We feel the energy of the violet ray, the violet flame blazing through our heart center and we transmit this out into this realm, into the field, into the energy of Gaia Pachamama. As Gaia ascends, we ascend with her. We awaken from the false, illusory dream of the nightmare into that of which is true, pure awareness of eternal bliss, paradise found. As we discover the kingdom of heaven within in the still point in the zero point center, of our awareness, our consciousness, in the center of our vessel, our temple, our sacred avatar. As we call upon the violet ray, the violet flame of Saint Germain, to blaze and blaze and blaze, and raise in this glory of the new earth, the violet flame activates every soul, every divine conscious being of light, every sentient being of pure awareness, here now, in the holiest of holies, the holy water, the holy fire, the holy spirit coming through the threefold flame as we blaze and blaze and blaze the violet flame, the violet ray, rising higher and higher up the spiral through the vortex, through the void, activating the 12 by 12 crystalline DNA of the 144 Christos conscious beings of light as we connect our pure awareness of this divine flame to the crystal core, the heart of Pachamama, to raise the frequency, to raise the currency, as we rise up, wake up, and arise. We are the legions of light that came into this realm for this great shift, this great awakening of humanity and all living beings, as we are activated through our I Am Presence that is here now. I am the way, the truth, and light. I am the violet ray. I am all rays. In all ways, activating every cell, every atom, every star, as consciousness itself becomes supernova. The nova is the great expansion, and as the, every living being becomes conscious of this infinite expanding creator source from the center to the ends of the multiverse, we call upon our team of 144,000 to join us now in this great awakening, and in this blazing of the violet flame of transmutation, transcendence, transfiguration, as all is coming into balance, harmony, all is being transcended, that no longer serves, that which is of the old is transmuting into the new. The old earth become the new earth through this great transformation and transfiguration. So keep blazing the violet flame, activating every living being, as Gaia herself is engulfed in this healing flame, this healing ray of light from the great central sun through the consciousness of the ascended master, Saint Germain, that is the keeper of this flame, as we become one and connect with Saint Germain to blaze this flame of eternal light and eternal life through our pure awareness, our pure consciousness. As conscious co-creators of the new earth, we become the violet flame and transmit to all we come in contact and all those that are connected to us through our heart center. And my mighty I am presence transmits to you the power of the violet flame, the violet ray. For you in this now to transmit the flame of the violet ray to all those you come in contact, both physically, mentally, and etherically. And as we connect to every aspect of ourself through every timeline, every realm, every dimension, we activate the violet flame in every point of light that we are here now. 441 into the 144, the great mirror. Today, many powerful extreme energies coming in. It was a beautiful day on Pachamama. Helios was shining bright, transmitting the golden ray from the central sun through our local sun into the sun in the center of our being. And again today, the queen and I's friend, Walela the hummingbird, came to me as I walked out on the balcony. And today, her crown was violet. Beams of sparkling light 
I got blasted with this high frequency energy coming through the wing nation, through Walela, the hummingbird. And she visits the queen and I every day, transmitting the energy and codes of beauty, love, and freedom that I transmit to all of you today. So feel the power of this violet ray and feel the energy of the violet codes engulfing your physical vessel with the pure light of the violet flame of Saint Germain. And with the power of your mighty I Am Presence, invoke this flame for all humanity, for Gaia, and for all life in all realms, all timelines, dimensions, all forms. Rainbow tribes fully activated now. Today on the Schumann Resonance Chart, we got a big blast of white light. We had a 37 hertz and then 102 amplitude. 37 into 73, heaven on earth. Aho. Today from Divine Sister of the Light, S.A. Smith, quick update. The Schumann Resonance started to show its colors this morning. Welcome to Wednesday, a day where anything is possible. The whole day belongs to you. We are also experiencing incoming energies, which is pretty much of our norm these days. Really listen to you today. The ascension symptoms are changing. I know you're feeling it. More floaty, more hard to concentrate in real life. Being and doing you has become harder. There's this disconnection happening. The dizziness and off-kilter feeling like trying to walk on a train that's moving. But this is your life. Jobs in the 3D realm are almost impossible. You are literally changing. I know it's overwhelming, but your balance is coming. I know it feels so off, but that balance will come in and you'll feel like a new and improved version of you. Just keep moving forward. You are doing it. You are amazing. From a girl in the universe.com. And over the last 24 hours, we had 120 M1.5 or greater earthquake. We had a couple powerful 5.2, one in the Scotia Sea, which is in the South Atlantic, by the trunk of Ganesh of Antarctica. We also had a 5.2 about two hours ago in Guam, both of these on the Ring of Fire. And we had another powerful 5.2 in the Ascension Islands, the sacred portal between South America and Africa. This is connected to the Ascension portal. So this is three 5.2s within the last 24 hours, creating the 777 portal, the triple seven. That is divinity manifesting in all three Dantians, the three sacred portals in our sacred vessel. Earlier today, Sandpoint, Alaska, 3-9 in the crown. Colombia, South America, 4-2. Vanuatu, 4.9. 111 kilometers depth. We had a 5.1 Kermadec. Bolivia, South America, in the sacred portal, in the Andes Mountains, the Kundalini of Pachamama, home of the sacred condor, 4.6 activation, 650 UTC, 20.562, 67.194 longitude. This was just north of the Tropic of Capricorn. We also had in the Andes and Peru a 4.9, the 13. Divine Goddess, Baja, California, Mexico, 4.8, 3.0. Then we had the 5.2 on Ascension Island, Fiji, 4.5, Mid-Indian Ridge, 4.7, San Juan, Bautista, California, 3.4, Mentone, Texas, 3.0. We had four activations in a row. Then Baja, California, 3.1, Tonopah, Nevada, 3.7, Another 37 activation mirrored on the Schumanns with a 37 hertz. 37 mirror of the 73, 73 heaven, 37 earth. So we manifest heaven on earth through our heart center. Iran today in the sacred portal, 4.3. And this was in the Zagros Mountains on the border of Iraq and Iran. We had another activation, 4.7 in Loyalty Islands. Then we had a powerful activation of 5.1 in the Owen Fracture Zone, which is in the Arabian Sea, in between Africa and India, south of Saudi Arabia, Yemen, Oman. The whole grid is being lit up, being activated, and rising up through this great ascension. And a quick update. This week, we are still in the energies of this Passover energy which started March 27th and ends Sunday, April 4th on Easter. 
And this is connected to the exodus energy of freedom, sovereignty, and being released from all contracts, all constructs, and all time loops. Today we are going to start with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon at 26 degrees, 26 minutes, Scorpio, a day portal, Lion Nation of the Lyrans, the Moria 5, sun at 11 degrees, 30 minutes, Aries, the current Sabian symbol for the sun at 12 degrees Aries, a flock of wild geese. The current Sabian symbol for the moon at 27 degrees Scorpio, a military band marches noisily on through the city streets. From astrologyweekly.com And my goddess, my sacred condor, pulled another card for you today from your path through the enchanted forest by Lunea Weatherstone. The card she pulled for you today is card 7, The Fairy Wind. The quiet mood of the forest shifts, subtly at first, and then increasing tension, like the breathless hush before a storm. You hear a rushing sound in the distance, growing louder as it approaches. It is the sound of treetops dancing in a wind that comes closer and closer, until it is upon you. Lifting your hair and cooling your cheeks, you are surrounded by a sudden fragrance of bluebells and moss and honey. This is no ordinary breeze. It betokens the wild flight of the fae. They flash into your view, imperious, haughty, beautiful beyond words. Your heart yearns after them with a sharp urgency to go where they go and see what they see. But never attempt to chase them. Trust me, it will not turn out well. The fairies follow their own path, and you must follow yours. The fairy wind is a powerful sign of ultimate success. Only the most fortunate see the fae, though many have felt their passing. Things will pick up speed for you now, and your endeavors will flow swiftly toward a positive outcome. Continue forward with increased confidence, meaning at a glance speed, chains, important news, success, self-governance independent achievement a closer look legends tell of people who were swept up by the fairy wind and deposited miles away if this happens to you don't be in a rush to return and today an update from divine sister of the light amanda lawrence incredibly strong incoming energies have started mainly targeted to the crown yet also the whole head face neck intense vibrational strength i only post when significant and today from Divine Sister of the Light, Karen Lithica, Starseed Awakening, the Arcturians. We introduce the concept of Starseed Consciousness, Ancient Galactic DNA Awakening. No, every being is encoded with life, the code of light. As the New Age light trajectory was initiated, it provides an opportunity for a grand awakening of infinite proportions. As your multidimensional skills upload, your star seed DNA knowledge advances. As you integrate specific galactic DNA upgrades, these traits will be amplified to new levels, amplifying your existing light body, physical template. We ask you to review your progress thus far and observe your higher light advancement to realize human consciousness is advancing to star seed consciousness. The awakening of your multidimensional abilities, specifically relating to your star seed traits, encoded within your DNA. Be open for change in every breath and thought. We see every cell bubbling away like a pot of soup as you vibrate at a higher level, merging light vibrations, integrating and becoming the true you. Be open for change. Be in a space of pure heart enlightenment. You will find us. We send waves of cosmic light and a multidimensional beam of light. Know the Great Earth Alliance is here, Light Family, assisting, uniting, as we join, united, in one light, with love, the Arcturians, and Karen Lithica from KarenLithica.com. Today, from Divine Bro, Star of the Light, Daniel Scranton, the next wave of mass awakenings, the 9D Arcturian Council. Greetings, we are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. We are always aware of what is going on there on Earth, always keeping track, taking the pulse of the human collective, and at this time we are noticing that you have begun to recognize yourselves as the beautiful and wonderful beings that you are. You have reached a tipping point within the collective, one where enough of you have come to this realization. You have come to recognize who you really are, 
that you are powerful creator beings and that you are infinite and eternal beings of love and light. And now that enough of you have come to this realization, once again, there will be another wave of mass awakenings amongst those who have never even contemplated the idea that they could be source energy beings masquerading as human beings. This is a wonderful time for you all to sit back, relax, and watch as the world begins to transform from these awakenings. You had your awakening experience or experiences, and they were planned by you before you were born, and so it stands to reason that those of your fellow humans who have been asleep up until now will also have their planned awakening events. Even those who have rejected the idea that they are infinite and eternal beings of love and light will be transformed eventually. We have told all of you who receive these transmissions that you have to be patient with your fellow humans and that patience is going to pay off now that the tipping point has been reached, now that you are creating an environment where it is easier for others to wake up. You have laid the groundwork, blazed the trail, and you have done a wonderful job of being who you truly are, not hiding your light but rather getting excited about what you have come to know about yourselves and everyone else. Every time you have shared your truth, you have helped create a world and environment where people will be able to awaken without any reservation, without feeling that they are weird. You have done so much for humanity, and most of you don't ever acknowledge yourselves for what you have done, but you're going to start to see the payoff, and all of humanity is benefiting from every single one of you being there and just knowing who you really are. You are spread out all across the planet so that you can work with the grid lines so that you can send those energies across the globe, grounding your truth into Mother Earth so that everyone can benefit from what you have come to know about yourselves and everyone else. You have come so far in your lives and this next wave of awakenings will have people who will be able to grow and evolve in leaps and bounds. This is a time for you all to celebrate yourselves for making that possible for leading humanity in this consciousness evolution. So when you think about what you should be doing or how you can possibly contribute more, just remember how much you have already done for humankind just by being you. We are the Arcturian Council and we have enjoyed connecting with you. From DanielScranton.com And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Carolyn, Servant of Yahweh. The energies of the Libra Full Moon and Passover are bringing forth the finales needed to collectively move forward into new earth as one. Whatever has been draining your system, immune system, energy body, the mind and emotions is ending. Full remuneration of the heart chakra and heart space is being restored to your original divine blueprint. Active DNA is occurring, waking up the telomeres to your new fresh flesh. The divine masculine Christ have recently been tested with temptation and passed successfully. This supports the Divine Feminine Christ to move forward and away from deceit, to be fully remunerated with her crown on. This is replacing all old order. The Jezebel has been flipped into last based on the Divine Masculine Christ's desire to only be with the Divine Feminine Christ, who are now being put first on her throne. The galactic ascension of the Union of the Beloveds is also moving forward as gateways are now opening up for unions in the flesh. The eye of God has been watching and witnessing what has been transpiring with us since the equinox. He is delivering verdicts based on what he has been witnessing the past few weeks. This is the divine intervention needed for us to have our wishes fulfilled as promised from our kingdom God. He is saying that all is right and in holy order now. The time is ripe for our ascension into New Earth through the Grail Bridge of Ascension Codes that are now coming alive in the DNA. Ego is leaving the DNA through this cellular upgrade into love. Take care of yourself and receive this support. You are very fruitful and abundant already. Nourishment and relinquishment of the old is what is needed right now to shift the emotional body from loss and grief and to having your cup runneth over with fruitful abundance in all ways. The Divine Mother Shekinah is giving back to you all. You need to thrive as you have helped her so much. Relinquish all old order and now allow change today. Take a chance on faith, knowing that you are being taken to a new long-term reality of stability, harvest, and abundance on earth. All praises to the Most High in the Yeshua's Christos name. Amen. From Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames Today, from Here in the Moon Astrology, 
Wednesday, March 31st, 2021. Waking up from the psychological hibernation. There is a vitality, a life force, an energy, a quickening that is translated through you into action. And because there is only one of you in all time, this expression is unique. Martha Graham. Feel the waves of regenerative life force rippling out waking you up and shaking you free from the gray cobwebs of inertia, stuckness, and limbo. The super conjunction of Chiron, Sun, Venus, and Ceres and Aries, aligned with the nodes of fate, is the medicine you need to revive your libido, your fierce hope, and bright faith after surviving in the swamplands of the soul for so long. You are now in a moment where you get to review, rethink, and recreate just about anything you want. This may involve any facet of your life. You have the opportunity to work from the roots of your existence upwards and outward. For now, stay close to the ground and work from your core reality. You can't so easily relate to your past anymore. Your soul sees it all as just experience. There is less and less emotional attachment to it. It's a blessing because it is making room for new memories. It is freeing you up. Make the shift from the old model of imposing change on yourself from the outside using willpower to noticing what is already reconstellating and follow the golden thread wherever it leads. This is the distinction between old 3D self-help and 5D organic evolution. Make two lists. What is already fading in the rearview mirror and just needs releasing? And what are you being nudged to create? Weed out old entanglements. Initiating is not about forcing events. Reflecting is not about disengaging. Waiting is not about being passive and doing nothing. Ask yourself in this space of new beginnings, what might grow? What is seeking to move through me? Ask then wait to become the person who can live within that new reality. You have to know it, experience it, understand what it can draw from your depths. It wants to show you how you are limiting yourself to reveal emergent new solutions, entirely brand new and not just band-aid measures. From here in the moon astrology dot co dot uk and from Adrian Elise Gaia Daily March twenty ninth through April second claim your world. We are coming off a potent full moon in Libra, still feeling the Sun, Venus, and Chiron close together in Aries this through the week. This is excavating all the most painful stories of persecution of the feminine and bringing it into the light of day. Wounds of separation from our own power and source energy are coming to the surface. Aries craves freedom and expression, but often in the past this has come at the cost of relationships. But supernova souls are here to co-create with their soul group and demonstrate sacred relationship. It's how we take back our power. We need each other to fly. There is nothing you have to give up. More is more is the new relationship paradigm. Mars on the North Node is telling us that destiny is calling. Supernovas, you have so much beauty and potential, and yet so much has worked against you through this whole Earth evolution. Are you ready to take off the chains? The world is waiting for your voice and message. You are a powerful creator. Claim your world from AdrianElise.com. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Leah Whitehorse, Lua Astrology. Sun and Aries sextile Saturn and Aquarius. Take a moment to look back over the course of your life to see how far you have come. Acknowledge your accomplishments and all the trials and tests it took to achieve them. What limited you in the past no longer needs to hold you back. You are capable. You've got this. Say it out loud if you doubt it, even for a minute. There is an opportunity now to build on your experience to reach even greater heights. With strong self-discipline and a willingness to commit, you can manifest your vision. Give yourself the structure and support you need. Take yourself seriously and be accountable. Dignity and integrity flow from self-respect. The key to successful self-expression is consistency. Let go of worries about getting older. Wisdom and maturity are luminous gifts. Time is a great teacher. From LeahWhitehorse.com Today from the Zolkin Times, Kin 107 Blue Electric Hand Electric is the name for the number three and its key words are activate, service, and bond. This is the third day of the Red Serpent Wave Spell, the second portal day in a row. The journey takes off now at such a speed, expect to feel a little weird and a light-headed today. 
Electric days are always high energy, and when they occur on a portal day, that's a crazy combination that only happens three times in a cycle of the Zolkin. Today is blue hand, which represents accomplishment, healing, and knowing. Not only is it an electric day and a portal day, we also add in the mix of the healing energies of the blue hand. It is easy to imagine how one could activate healing. The serpent wave spell, although intense, does offer healing through the transformative process, the shedding of our old selves. Much can be accomplished today, but be prepared to be worn out from all that energy. The guide today is the blue monkey, which represents magic, illusion, and play. Now is the fun part of the day. Monkey is leading the way, inviting us to play. Monkey shows us magic and illusion to see if we can tell the difference. Choose illusion and monkey will teach you a lesson and make a fool out of you. Be wise and discerning today and monkey will lead you to healing. Today from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio. Blue Electric Hand, Kin 107, 31, March 2021. Activating Healing and Accomplishment. 31, 3, 2021, equal 31, 3, 2, 3, equal 4, 3, 5, equal 4, 8, equal 12, equal 3, 31, genius number, think outside the box, 4, form, structure, foundation, earth, 5, freedom, liberation, transformation, change, 8, infinite, abundant, source, flow, 3, holy trinity, joy, creativity, Kin 107 equal 8, Abundance, Infinity Flow. Kin 107, last spin of the Zolkin, occurred on the 14th of July, 2020. Bastille Day, the French Independence Day. So we are linking to the liberation portal of that time. Today is another potent day in the evolution of planet Earth. More power to break out of the box from any form of imprisonment or anything limiting your freedom. Day 3 in the Red Serpent Wave Spell of Survival Instinct, Kundalini Rising, Life Force, Passion, and Rapid Transformation through Shedding Our Old Skin. How are we liking this serpent energy so far, planetary kin? Quite earth-shattering and potent power. I hope that you are all able to rise out of the survival game in the old matrix and embrace your shamanic powers. Today we are given the power to utilize the vitality and life force energies of Sheik Chan to accomplish great healing and dedication to divine service. Tone of creation, today's tone is electric. This is pure creative genius energy, Tesla power. The electric tone coupled with the blue monkey and white wizard, magic, and throw in the serpent energies on our second gap day, and we have enough dynamite to blow 100 bastilles. Zap, kapow, be very careful with that high voltage current. Electric days are super potent for catalyzing change and fueling what you want to create through focused intent. Electric is tone number three in the tone of creation. It is the first of the three emotional realm tones. Its focus is on being of service to others through the action of bonding that is coming together with others to co-create and be of service. Electric energy provides the ignition or spark for your manifestation. It is a current that needs to keep moving and flowing, transmitting energy. It also adds power to anything you are creating today. An extra electrical boost to draw upon. The power of three is derived from two units merging and creating the third, more powerful entity. This action duplicates the essence of bonding and service that the electric tone provides. Today we may experience close bonding and divine destined relationships that reflect a timeless quality of enchantment. Today beckons you to become emotionally mature. Expand your focus from purely bonding with one to the joy of bonding with all. Together with your divine counterpart, offer your united energies to be of divine service to humanity. Another super potent day, incredible power and magic energies at your disposal to channel into your divine service projects. Note a strong electrical charge exists between monadic souls, so coupled with today's code, this makes for very electrifying experiences. Expect sparks to fly. Note, do not underestimate the powerful forces available today. Elon Musk also has the electric tone. He is a white electric world bridger and he uses this power to build rockets to fly to Mars, bridging worlds as well as launching 5G satellites which beam these rays to Earth. Electric people can accumulate great wealth, power, and resources. 
And usually in the old paradigm, they did not use it wisely to benefit humanity. Use this power today to your advantage with harm to none and service to humanity. Planetary Earth Service Work The electric tone in the serpent wave spell also activates our planetary kundalini and serpents. Rainbow and feather and Quetzalcoatl, so Gaia's grid is pumping today. Lots of planetary fuel for Gaia's liberation and ascension journey. Given the potency of today's code, we can volunteer to direct this energy for planetary healing. The battle for our health, vitality, and life force has been waged through polluting our food, air, water, land, as well as our bodies and our minds. The insidious uses of microwaves and destructive frequencies emitted through invasive technologies such as 5G, DEW, direct energy weapons, attacks, HARP, lasers, and also supercomputer directed mind control attacks. Given that we are adventuring in the shamanic underworld territory of the Red Serpent and White Wizard, the themes of manipulation, hypnotic trances, spells, curses, domination, power struggles, and other mind control and takeover practices are rising to the fore in order to be balanced, declared, and dissolved, particularly in relation to karmic patterns. Today affords a divinely gifted opportunity to clear all of these from the collective planetary consciousness and timelines, as well as personal timelines too. Muchos gratitude for your divine service. Be sure to connect with nature today and spend some time in stillness, in communion with the divine, to heal the past and set forth on your new divine course. Follow the signs to discover your new GPS. Pachamama is speaking loud and clear today, and she is saying, Today is the day. It is time for Gaia to break free from her bondage as a prison planet, and today we can accomplish this. Today's question is, How can I accomplish great healing through applying my magical power to liberate myself and others through divine service? So, beloveds, today is an amazing day, a great day to achieve potent healing and using the magic available to us all to push through any perceived boundaries and trust the divine energies that would like to be accomplished through us. We are all very divine electrical conduits today. Buzz, 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 power to the people. Viva la revolution. Unleash your magic. Divine blessings for electrical, magic, and miracles today. And la queca la kin, Christina White, Magnetic World Bridger, Kin 66. Kin 107, Blue Electric Hand, the mantra, the code for the day is, I activate in order to know, bonding healing, I seal the store of accomplishment, with the electric tone of service, I am guided by the power of magic, I am a galactic activation portal, enter me. And now on this powerful day of galactic activations and transformations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions, and we archive these on our website primedisclosure.com. And now I'd like to thank everyone for your support and donations and pledges through Patreon. We rely on the pledges and donations for our daily living expenses and for bringing these daily transmissions to the world. I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Sister of the Light, Carrie A. Mitchell, for your pledge and support on Patreon. She is the second of 20 that we were looking for to do a live stream on this Sunday on Easter 4-4. So if we meet the 20 new pledges at $10 or more, we'll do a live stream. If not, I'll record a transmission of the violet flame of the I Am Presence for our Patreon page. So if you'd like to support our work and mission with a monthly pledge, and pledge a $10 or more support for our live stream, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash prime disclosure. I'd like to thank Divine Sister of the Light, Amy Sansom, for your donation today. Amy's one of our original Divine 44, an amazing human. Please support her and her work in her powerful healing practice at quantumhealingwellness.com. Thank you, Amy, for your support. 
We appreciate you and everyone for supporting us. If you'd like to make a donation, you could do so through PayPal or GoFundMe. The link is at eaglelovecondor.com. I would also like to take a moment to thank everyone for supporting my Sacred Condors art business on Etsy. Thank you, Divine Sister of the Light, for your continued support and purchasing. Beautiful healing bracelet, Divine Sister Zorina Donato. Thank you for your support. And be sure to check out her new beautiful pieces of artwork. Some new goddess totems, healing bracelets, and several other art pieces on lunagoddessart.com. We are going to end today's transmissions with a powerful coded message from our Pleiadian brothers and sisters of the light. Pleiades 1 messages, March 31, 2021. P1 calling Terrans for origins recognition. Attention for calls in PVSC-SDE. Higher memories keep returning. Higher powers are established. Greedy maneuvers are cut. Disorder temperaments are decreased. Malicious replicas are dissolved. Ashtarans line up specific transmissions. Attention, Neva. Special calculation bases are assembled. Unplugged avatars in relocation. Port 144 liberated. Standards of divine teachings are announced. Nevic support in tune. 14% non-regressive. Hermetic reverberations in progress. 52% non-regressive. Transfers to Calthart are approved. First wave. 79% non-regressive. Special projectors for MFD. 11 Aimed and reverberating, 83% non-regressive. Arduin and appropriate transfers. Disconnected are guided. Temporarily end of transmission. Pleiades 1, potentiating forces of divine technologies. From DisclosureNews.it And there we have some powerful codes and activations as we transition through this powerful portal into April. The month of transfiguration, resurrection, and transmutation with the violet ray of Saint Germain coming in fully now. And remember, I am the resurrection and the life, the eternal light and the eternal life of infinitely expanding creator source. So keep walking your sacred path with heart and shining your light brightly into the night. Beloved beings of light, the eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.